welcome back everybody. I'm going to be replacing some of this trim here on the uh, side of the trailer where it covers the screws. I don't know if you can see this very good. I'll try and zoom in in a minute. But I have a couple areas that are cracking. It's made out of vinyl. It's been on here six and a half, seven years. And I have an area that's cracking. So let me take you over here and show you an example. Hopefully this comes in. You can see here it's cracked. So and it's just real brittle. So I bought a heavy duty uh, vinyl trim to go here. I'm going to show you how this uh, comes down and how to replace it. Now I'm going to go around the other side of my trailer. I have another area that's got another problem with this trim. Okay, so now I'm over by my slide near the roof area. You can see here my slide. Anyway, so you can see this area where this trim has shrunk up and then it's pulled out of here. You can see before this silicone was all the way over here. So what I'm going to do is take this off and um, it comes off very easy. It's starting to crack too. This comes right off and you can see screws under here. Pulls right off real easy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick a new piece in here, install it, and I'm going to check all these screws right here, make sure they're all tight. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down and come back to you. I pulled the vinyl strip all the way off, so let's come over here. I'm going to show you. Uh, when I got down here, what I had to do is undo this screw right here, the robber's head screw, pulled it back, and then pulled this out. The screw was actually going through it to hold it from uh, expanding and contracting because this vinyl will expand and contract. And that's what probably happened to the other side. It, the screw wasn't holding it, so it pulled it out. So what I did was I took a putty knife I worked it under here, all the way around both sides over here too, and then pried up. Being careful not to scratch this. And uh, you can always also use a putty knife like this, plastic one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this up. I actually have a couple scrapers to, uh, for uh, scraping off uh, silicone and putty and stuff. It's made out of plastic, got a mini razor blade on it. I got this other tool too to clean up this silicone. I want to show you a deep inside here. So the sealant they have here isn't very good that was under this. So if any water got under here, you can see it could get in that crack there and go down your wall. So it's real important that you have a good sealant I'm going to put some underneath here and then on the top when I seal this back up. And when I put my trim piece back in, I'm going to put it in far enough so it goes past the screw and the screw will go into it. So I'm going to show you the trim to show you how it was becoming brittle. I'm going to go down on my ladder and show you that. So I'm on the ground here. I'm just going to squeeze this and you can see how it's cracking. See that? So this area is brittle. I've checked other areas in the trailer and it's not brittle. So I'm just replacing the areas that are brittle right now and maybe in the future uh, they could be changed out. But right now um, I'm just going to do the brittle areas. So let's get the other side like this area over there pried up so I got it all loosened up to put my new trim in. So before I put up the new trim, I want to show you the difference in these trims. Here's the new one I bought. It's thicker. And then this one here is what was up there. I cut a piece off. I just want to show you how much thicker this one is than this one. So I'm thinking the thinner one would become more brittle quickly and uh, quicker than this other one. So we'll see. They're both made out of vinyl. Um, I know that UV rays will attack this stuff so anyway i'm gonna 
give it a shot. I bought the thicker one at Heavy Duty. So if you do it, I recommend you buy the thicker one. I'll leave links in the description below this video of the products I use just in case you want to uh, purchase something. So you can either buy it through the Amazon links they provide or uh, search around Amazon or somewhere and purchase it or go to a camping world or something. So this is a heavy duty, this is a hundred foot roll. So I just bought a hundred foot roll. It's uh, just a little more than buying 50 feet. So this is the way to go and it's one inch wide. And so the way you measure it, you lay these out flat, measure from the end to the end, and that's one inch measure one inch here. So I flattened it out, measured it, and that's how I got my one inch. I went ahead and measured the length of trim I need for that area so I don't have to take this up uh, on the ladder and deal with this all unraveling. So I cut this piece off. That's the length with just regular scissors. And here's what it looks like when you're unwinding it off this roll. So I'm gonna leave this roll on the ground I hate to drop it or anything, or this thing is going to be a tangled mess. So now we'll go up and we'll put this in place. So here's a lesson on learn as you go. So I was just testing the fit on this trim here, and I was moving this, and all of a sudden it just came off, which it should. I noticed here there's silicone back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape all this off on my workbench with a uh, my metal scraper, and then. Um, like I was mentioning before, this trim will go past here, and then the screw goes about here, so it's gonna hold this in place, this trim. So what I'll do is I'll put this back together after I clean everything up real nice. I'm gonna put some silicone here and here, and then I'm gonna put some tape, some parchment paper behind here so that, um, any silicone that leaks into here um, doesn't touch the rubber or anything. It'll be against the parchment paper that will, that hopefully that silicone will peel off. So that'll work out. I might put a little bit of oil or something on the parchment paper to make sure it peels off. Um, so if I do a good seal here, I won't need to, let me put this back on, I won't need to seal the edges because it will be sealed really good underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then come back and show you this stuff cleaned up and all of the parchment paper on there. I have the area cleaned up, have my parchment paper taped in place. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to load this up with silicone right here. Um, so the silicone will fill across here against the paper. I'm going to put some, uh, maybe some Vaseline on the paper and then my silicone along here. And then on the back, I'll show you the parchment papers taped on in place. And I use uh, denatured alcohol to clean up here and it worked really good. It took off some of the silicone that was sticking here. And then I've cleaned this up a little bit in the back. And I use a denatured alcohol in the back because I want a nice surface for the silicone to stick to. So we're ready for silicone and put this back together. Um, I used uh, just regular kitchen parchment paper you use for baking. Got the Vaseline on there. And then here um, I put tape around the edges so that if any silicone oozes out, it won't be all over the place. It'll be a nice clean repair. Got this all cleaned up. So you can see the tape's all around the edge. And then what I'll do is then after I get it all together, then I'll pull the tape off um, and it'll be a nice clean job. And so I'm gonna put some silicone in here. And like I said, on the parchment paper itself. And what I use for silicone is ProFlex clear silicone and uh, sealant it works really well so I have the ProFlex on here I tried putting it on the parchment paper but it didn't want to stick so I actually just put it on the back here so I'm going to go ahead and put this in place and put my screw in and I'll come back to you 
There we go. Got it in place. You can see the silicone oozed out a little bit here. Put my screw in to pull this all tight. So now I'm just going to use a little scraper and clean this uh, silicone up so it doesn't run down onto the paint. Got the silicone cleaned up. Just use my little scraper here. Ran it down and cleaned up the edges. And then what I'll do is I'm going to continue on putting this uh, trim all the way down to the other end. I got that side all cleaned up already. So I'm going to go wash some of this silicone off my hands and come back. So I'm not going to bore you with putting this trim in all the way down. I'm just going to show you. You just kind of squeeze it and then it pops in place. Like that. I'll just work my way down it. Really easy to do. And I'll work my da way down. What this does, it covers the screws and it keeps water from getting in here to possibly infiltrate into the uh, slide itself. When you're putting this on, don't be pulling on it, stretching it. Just let it go in naturally. You know, just squeeze it, put it in. No stretching of it. Because if you stretch it out and you get down there and temperature changes, it's going to try and pull this trim out and it's going to it's going to move around um, because it's going to be trying to pull back so make sure you just put it in like this and i'm going to work my way down and put the other end back together and i'm going to come back and show you what it looks like got everything back together just need to let everything dry up and then i'll take the tape off and everything i'll probably do that tomorrow so the key to putting this uh, trim in is to tuck it in the bottom and then just push it down so the top pops in and then kind of push along here and it kind of makes it all pop in place. So that's a trick to do that. So we're done here. Let's go to the back of the trailer and check it out. So here we are in the back. So this is the trim piece we're going to be replacing. The tricky part will be right here on the bottom because uh, this piece won't come off. It's uh, built into the uh, floor panel of the trailer. So what I'm going to have to do is cut this here and remove as much as I can and then put some of that uh, ProFlex in there and push that in place. The new trim, after I remove all this, and then up above, remember this is a side with the cracks in it. And here I'm going to have to take, remove that lower screw and pull the trim out and break up some of the caulking and then re-caulk it and put a new piece in place. I was removing the trim here and then I noticed down here, see some water? So what happened was I had the... Uh, crack here in in the uh, trim and some water got down in here and it was just sitting down in the bottom so that could have been seeping into the trailer which it wasn't luckily caught this uh, during the summer months so that water is just for me washing the trailer and then the, uh, the water getting in through one of these cracks so good reason to change out this trim um, rather than not not take care of it when it's cracked like this. I was able to cut the trim off here, and it looks like it's really well sealed here uh, from the factory. So um, that's a good thing. Let's go to the top part, and I'll show you what's going on up there. I got lucky up here. I was able to just pull this screw, put my putty knife under there, pry it away a little bit, and the trim slid right out of there. So I'm going to clean all this up and then put some uh, sealant in here and then slide my trim up in there. Well, there it is, all replaced. Looks good all the way down. The other side looks great. So I'm sure glad we replaced this. And luckily I only had this spot and the other spot on the other side. Everything else looks good. Um, so maybe in the future I'll be replacing the rest of it. But I wanna say thank you to everybody for watching. And I uh, hope you learned something from this. And 
Maybe go around and take a look at your uh, travel trailer and see how the trim is doing there. You don't want any water getting up behind there. And uh, I'll tell you what, this thicker uh, Lionel trim went in really easy and it's really strong. So I recommend using a, the thicker trim uh, wherever you find it. Um, the, I'll put a link in the description below of what I use. They sell it in black, um, white, and then a colonial white. So anyway, it's a, it's a good product. It seems like it will see how it holds up. So uh, if you like this video and you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave them and I do my best to get back to you. And um, hopefully you hit that like button and uh, I appreciate it very much. So take care everybody, happy camping and have fun.